come back to AZ Astro. So tonight I'm going to be imaging M27 or the Dumbbell Nebula. Rises right above right here where my telescope is currently pointed. And it should be rising in about 45 minutes, so I'll be imaging that tonight. I have been able to image it for the last about six nights. We'll see what I've gotten. Everything that I've gotten so so far looks really good. I've been doing it in uh, narrow band filters, so HA, O3, and S2 filters. Uh, I'll be doing some more of that tonight, so hopefully I'll have a great image. It is, I don't know if you can tell on the microphone, but it is a bit breezy tonight. So like I said, I don't know what will actually happen, but it's been working really well as of late. So we will see what happens. I'll see you guys back in the computer. All right, so back in the house at the computer. Uh, this is actually the next night. Uh, so last night after uh, I recording the op recorded the opening to the video, uh, Stellarmate kept crashing, or Ecos kept crashing, and I couldn't figure it out. I was tired, so I just said, screw it, and went to bed. But tonight seems to be okay. My pictures are coming out pretty good. They're mostly pinpoint stars. My guiding could be better, but it's good enough for, for what I'm doing. So right now, I've been doing M27, which is the Dumbbell Nebula. I personally think it looks more like an apple core, but it's whatever. Uh, and I've been capturing images on the Dumbbell Nebula for about seven days now. And my last calculation, I think I've gotten close to nine hours in each filter, hydrogen, alpha, oxygen, three, and sulfur, two. Uh, I think I've gotten about nine hours through each filter, so I am hoping that this picture is the best picture I've ever taken. But we will find out once I get it all processed uh, tomorrow after this session is done. So it's going pretty good right now. As you can see, I've already taken seven pictures in hydrogen alpha. So my lineup is I want to get basically one hour in each filter right now that'll put me at about I want to say two three o'clock somewhere around there and then get as much more as I can in another set right here so for a total of two more hours through each filter and then I got to do my darks my flats and my bias frames but I'm doing five minute exposures so we'll see how that goes tonight it's actually going pretty well like I said my guiding could be a lot better but it's not horrible although it is way off right now but it's not horrible I'm getting pictures like this so I will see you guys once I get the picture finished and I'll get this uh, video published so uh, I did the dumbbell nebula like I said in the video uh, I got eight and a half hours like 8.2 hours in each filter so that is quite a bit of time that's the most time i've ever done on a nebula so far uh, it came out really really well i learned a couple new tricks in pixinsight so this image is actually not that nasty bright yellow that i haven't been able to get out of my images since so i was able to fix that so now my images look a lot better uh, so I'll have that image at the end of the video. Uh, I also had to order a new filter wheel today, actually about 20 minutes ago. I've uh, tried using it, and apparently it's an old Orion Nautilus filter wheel built in like 2008, I think it was. And it just, the uh, USB part of it ripped out and pins got smashed. So I got a new filter wheel coming. It'll be here in about a week, hopefully. Uh, I'll do an unboxing video on that so you guys can see what you get in the box because I know everybody loves unboxing videos. Uh, so a couple things coming in the future. I am planning on building a roll-off roof observatory for my Celestron C-GEM since I already have the telescope pier and I've already got the C-GEM mount that I have more or less permanently affixed to the pier. 
So I'm going to build that. That video, I'm going to try to document as much of that as I can. That video won't be coming until, those videos won't start coming until about November when it's not 185 degrees outside. Uh, so once winter hits again and it's, you know, 70 degrees during the day, I'll start building that. I'll document that. Uh, I did a Hypertune on my AVX mount. I do need to tweak it because it's still kind of tight, so I just got to pull it back out and tweak it a little bit. I replaced the wheel bearing, which is this one right here, which is actually, it's not a bad wheel bearing. It does spin really well, but I replaced it with the tapered wheel bearing. So uh, I'll try to do a video. Hopefully I'll be going camping soon with my brother. Uh, hopefully, I don't know when that's going to happen. I'll be using that AVX mount to do that. Uh, so those are upcoming videos that I'm planning on doing. I'm not going to be able to do another video until I get my filter wheel in unless I decide to do a, pl a planetary video again, which I have been kind of tempted on doing that and actually using my monochrome camera as opposed to the color camera to get better clarity. But I'll see what happens. Uh, I'm, I might make another video on that, but uh, I'll let you guys know if I do. Uh, so I'll post the picture at the end of the video. I, I think it's one of the best pictures I've ever gotten. Far more detail than all my other pictures. The colors on them are great. The only thing I, I, I don't like too much about it is the colors are not as vibrant, I guess you'd say, as my, as my other pictures. But that's just a learning curve. But it's a lot better than my other pictures. So I'll post that at the end of the video. If you guys like the video, then uh, feel free to subscribe and like my videos, and I'll see you guys next time.